As a communicator, I find it's a constant struggle to find les mots justes for explaining difficult to understand concepts or controversial concepts or concepts that are just plain counterintuitive. And when it comes to those particular types of concepts, perhaps none are more difficult to understand than economic concepts. Not only because, of course, economics is laden with a bunch of jargon that makes it, I think, intentionally difficult and intimidating for newcomers and non-specialists, but also because so much of the economic sphere really is counterintuitive. We're born with all of these intuitions about what should be the case that all turn out to be consistently wrong when you really examine them. For example, the word economy itself, which of course comes from the Greek term for household management, makes it seem as if the economy, the economy, is a thing that exists that can and should be managed and directed and controlled by some central authority. Of course, that in and of itself is a fundamental misconception. And if you want to know more about that, I suggest you look into the term catalaxy, and I've written an article about that, in case you're interested. But I think it goes to the point that there are so many of these subjects that are counterintuitive. We grow up believing certain things about the way the economy works, or what it is, that are in fact 180 degrees from reality. And so it's difficult to articulate these uh, concepts. Uh, there are the concepts of uh, economics itself as a coordination problem, or there's the, uh, the calculation problem, as articulated by Mises. Or uh, we could look at concepts like spontaneous order that I've talked about many times in the past that, again, are difficult to get across to people who are expecting everything to be managed and centrally planned. Uh, there are many writers who have attempted to put these ideas in very simple and, and, uh, and illustrative terms, and some have really accomplished remarkable things in that regard. For example, uh, Frederick Bastiat, uh, The Law, a, uh, a very old and dusty treatise at this point, but one that is still cited as a touchstone work because it articulates some of these concepts so simply, so beautifully, uses such great articulate, intelligent examples and, and metaphors to put a, across these points. There are writers like uh, Henry Hazlitt, for example, in Economics in One Lesson that has done much of that work. Um, but perhaps there is no single, very easily readable uh, piece that, uh, that articulates a difficult and counterintuitive economic concept better than Leonard Reed's I Pencil. Yes, I Pencil. The story of the most humble object you can imagine. And yet it is such a wondrous and miraculous thing that the coordination of all sorts of activity that you wouldn't even think of results in this otherwise unremarkable object. You have the collection of, uh, of cedar in Oregon and graphite in Ceylon and Italian pumice and Mississippi clay and a bunch of other ingredients and the chemical reagents that are needed to vulcanize them and rubberize them and make them uh, put on the labeling and on the pencil and all of these different things that come together and not only all of those things and all of the people who are collecting all of those items individually and transporting those items halfway around the world but also all of the people who support all of those individual labors. When you start to articulate how many people are involved in the creation of a single pencil, it becomes evident that it is a remarkable, wondrous, almost miraculous activity that not only is not coordinated by a single person who lays out in, uh, in a big scheme the entire plan for how every single piece of labor that is required to produce every single constituent of this pencil comes together, but that such a plan would be impossible. It's a remarkable, wonderful essay, and it articulates that otherwise very counterintuitive and somewhat well, controversial idea in a very simple way and puts that idea into such context that it is undeniable. It's a beautiful, wonderful essay. I've talked about it before. I will, of course, throw the link in the show notes so that you can go and read it for yourself if you haven't yet done so, or you can listen to it or watch the video of it. But I'm going to try to go one better because I'm going to give you economics in one visual. This is central planning. And this is the free market. Any questions? I know which way I'm going. I hope you'll join me. James Corbett, CorbettReport.com.